Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video here on the channel and today we have received the version 12.20 update which has brought with it Spy Games. Now we finally know what that secretive coming soon computer was in the Battle Pass tab. However, we also have a video clip to watch so let's have a look. Burn in and let Double jump? Wow. Um, so I have heard some complaints about this saying that it's just a revamp of Team Rumble, but that video to me looks completely different. Maybe there's going to be multiple game modes for Spy Games. Maybe this is just the first one. That's my first thing. Really. However, that is not all that is new today. We have Jump in Da Chopper. New vehicle. Helicopters. We knew they were coming. There was helicopter pads. More were put in the last update. Um, so they are now out. Grab up to four other squad mates and take on enemy teams with the chopper. Now, it's a fairly slow-moving vehicle. It does have a boost functionality. It can hold five people, so that's four on the sides and one driving. It doesn't have weapons, so people on the sides can shoot. And 1,500 health because of a simple thing. You cannot jump out whilst in the sky. So an important thing to note here is that you've got to land. Now, uh, the corrupted thing for 8-Ball has sort of expanded a little today. Uh, we're going to go and have a look at that all in a minute. Uh, because there is an expansion to the tournaments. So we have the Contender Cash Cup solos. Um... Don't quite know why they're... Ah! One of them solos, one of them's duos, actually. By the looks of it. I'm not quite sure. Seems mildly glitched to me. Yeah, I think that's slightly glitched. As far as I know, one of them's meant to be solos, one of them's meant to be duos. So that is every Thursday. That's the... Across the board. Um, that is. So every Thursday, across the board, all platforms together, one amalgamation. And that starts tomorrow on the 18th of March. Now, prizes for that, they're respectable. They're not massive. Like, compared to previous seasons, they seem a little low. But that could be because of the thing that they're putting in about splitting uh, zones, splitting pools. Like, Overall, there could still be a similar amount of money up for grabs, and they might have also upped the rewards for FNCS. Now, that's going to run for six weeks, by the looks of it, solos and duos. Now, Wednesday we have Platform, which obviously uh, starts tomorrow. Yeah, they've really glitched this out. The 18th of March is the Wednesday one, which is the Platform. But here it says that that's the Thursday one. That, so they've mixed these up somewhat. The platform one is your Wednesday. So it's going to be what it used to be. So the platform is every Wednesday. That obviously is going to start tomorrow. Uh, the normal one is every Thursday. That's going to start on the 19th. Uh, they both appear to be running for six weeks. Prizes for... Whoa. The platform one seems to be a little bit higher, actually. Um, so... Yeah, I think they've mixed these up. So this one that we're looking at now, I believe, is actually the prize pool for the main ones. So, bear that in mind that there are new tournaments going for six weeks. Now, if we look in our locker, there is something new in the locker. You can now have presets. You can name your presets as well. So I'm just going to call this uh, C2S2 for now. Um... So yeah, you name your preset, click accept, and then you should be able to find it again. Um, in fact, you can make more presets as well. I don't know how many presets is the limit 
Um, I assume it's reasonably large. But yeah, with this they've obviously changed the look of the locker. And frankly, I quite like the look of the new locker. So, if we go to the item shop, there is a new skin I like in. It's a reactive outfit, actually. Quite a cool outfit. Uh, but, yeah, all in all, changes are big, but they're not overly massive. Now, we've also changed the look slightly of the um, challenge table. So the, the one where it says all challenges is no longer a circle. It's that sort of little screen. And it also tells you how many you've completed down there now. Now, you will have noticed just that there are three Spy Games challenges. And these give 80,000 XP each. So each time you do one, it's an instant level up. So three level ups for this. So what you've got to do, win a match in Operation Matches. Deal 1,000 damage to players in Operation Matches. And eliminate 10 players in Operation Matches. So... What are Spy Games? So let's go to the Spy Games tab and have a little look. So, your mission is to play Operation Matches and secure intel. Every piece of intel helps unlock, helps unlock additional tech from either Ghost or Shadow. All of your unlocked tech may be used during Operation Matches. Swap your allegiance at any time to unlock it all. New operations and new tech will become available as the Spy Games continue. So you can choose your allegiance at any time. But um, initially, you've got to pick Shadow or Ghost. Now, I think I'm going to go for Shadow. All in all. Um, so, how does this work? So, welcome, Shadow Agent. And it's got my name up in the top right as well. Um, as you can see, you start off with a lot of tech. So... What does each team start off with? So, Ghost has a starter assault rifle, Sneaky, so they move faster while crouching, Proximity Mines, Therapeutic Swim, which is regaining health while swimming, uh, a starter semi-auto sniper and speedy reload, whilst Shadow has the starter SMG, uh, increased starting ammo, Compact Bandage Bazooka, Gunsmith, which upgrades all your weapons to a higher rarity, Start Pump Shotgun and Part Fish, Swim Faster. And then as you progress and unlock your intel, you seem to get new stuff. Ah, so if you look, level two there on Ghost is the new scoped assault rifle that's been brought back. Uh, some of it's not even out yet, redacted like past 11. But um, all in all, <laughs> some of this is brilliant. In fact... I'm quite willing to swap already. Like, you can either go for shotguns and SMGs, which is Shadow, or assault rifles and snipers, which is Ghost. So, I'm going to switch to Ghost. Ah, so, that's another thing that I've just noticed. So, Intel. Whilst I'm playing as Ghost, any Intel I gather goes into the Ghost branch. Um... If I switch to Shadow, I will go back to the start. I will have not got anything special there. But now that we've... Wait. Is that all? So. With all of this in mind. We're going to hop into our first Spy Games match. Operation Drop Zone. So, two large teams fight to capture intel that appears in special supply drops in order to level up and unlock new tech. Every intel drop captured also grants that team 10 points towards the elimination goal. So, I can kind of see where people are coming from with this. It is kind of team rumble. But, same time, this is exciting. Now, a tech tree is something we have never, ever really seen Fortnite do in Battle Royale. Uh, they had it in Save the World a while ago before they scrapped it and changed research and they basically changed everything in Save the World a while ago. But it's something we have never seen them toy around with since. So the fact that it is now in Battle Royale is quite exciting. Like I personally have always enjoyed games that have a sort of tech tree progression system. Um, so all in all this is rather exciting. Now 
it does appear that Operation Drop Zone might be slightly difficult to get into to start off with because, let's be perfectly honest, everyone's playing it right now. Or are they? The possibility is actually it could be that no one is playing it and they're struggling to find a lobby. I do believe that it, the timer caps out. So, um, we will see you when we get into a game so guys um after just closing the game reopening it we're trying again but it does seem as though epic have had an issue with their servers so all in all it looks suspiciously like operation drop zone is currently not working. Now, I don't know if I'd mess something up on the Spy Games computer that's preventing it from finding a match. But all in all, Drop Zone seems like it could be great, but we won't know. Because, frankly, it's not working. So, we're gonna try getting into this game however if it times out then we'll know that they just don't seem to be working like I keep getting ETAs and then it reaches that ETA and the ETA goes to not applicable like it's almost like either the servers are collapsing or there's just not enough people for games now this is a big game so there's not be enough people to make a game. I don't think that's the case. I think the servers have been overloaded. So, personally, guys, Spy Games looks brilliant, sounds brilliant. Is it good? Now, <laughs> I'll be honest, it better be after waiting this long. Um, although we do seem to be having some action all of a sudden. Joining server, haven't gotten that far before. So, we will be with you shortly. So, we're still joining and failed to join session. So, it's almost like it's not working. So, for now guys, we are going to stick for solos. We're going to go and have a look at what these helicopters are like. So, um... Operation Drop Zone. Is it good? I really hope so. Um, but we won't be able to take a look at that in this video, guys. So, <laughs> as for what this video is, it's literally just been me talking about it. Very sorry about that, guys. We can't help what's going on with the game. It's The game servers seem overloaded at the current moment. So, if it comes to it, I will record some gameplay for you of that game mode tomorrow or Thursday. Um, seems like we're even going to struggle to get into a solo game. So, almost like Fortnite has completely collapsed. So, with that in mind, guys, I think we're just going to check one last thing. So guys, unfortunately, I've just come on to Fortnite status. They literally put out a message eight minutes ago. We're currently investigating issues with login, matchmaking, item shop parties, friends, and messaging, and game services. We'll provide an update when these are resolved. Four minutes later, we're continuing to investigate this issue. So all services of Fortnite are currently degraded. So seems the new update has completely crashed the servers so with that in mind guys that's where i'm gonna leave the video for today hopefully tomorrow we can get some gameplay of the new operation drop zone and some helicopters but for now um i hope you enjoyed the video found it informative if not fun to watch um sorry about the issues obviously they are out of my hand oh just had some action there a couple of things just went back to optional. Uh, stats and leaderboards are now uh, operational. Um, so yeah, guys, I know it wasn't the most fun of videos for you all, but 
obviously this is beyond my control so thanks for watching and i will see you all hopefully either tomorrow or thursday with some actual gameplay for you good bye